So you said the movie's about toys? Yeah, so the whole thing's gonna be that toys are actually alive, and they have, like, secret lives going on when humans leave the room. Oh! Oh, what's his deal? Well, what's really fun about him is that he doesn't know he's a toy. He thinks he's an actual space ranger. Oh, that's funny. I thought so, too. He thinks he's on a mission or something. Oh, well, he's super evil. He makes toys explode, and he, like, crafts different parts of toys onto other toys. Pretty creative, actually. Yeah, super evil. Just a kid using his imagination. The new spooky booty action figure from Psychedelic. He's sold separately. Hey, Crimson, look at that hot pink polar trooper. He's not interested in you, spooky booty. They only like each other. Lame! And here's the galactic jerk bag, necromancer, and another bitch you didn't get to fuck. Some assembly required. Hey, this toy is cheap! That art piece is stupid. We're not supposed to open them. But I wanna play! Crimson Suicide, the necromancer, spooky booty, and other figures each sold. Welcome to Hate Ashbury. So, Molly, what yeah. do you glue it? You glued it? How you, you how you put that thing? You glued it? Uh, double sided tape. That is so cool. I know. That is so cool. I know. I know. I know. I know. What the leaves are brown. things are about commodification. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what it means that I, I'd be hard pressed to say that there was a specific intention. Yeah, I have the magazines, I have the figures, I just get really fucked up and just play free association and then just when something looks looks cool somewhere, I put, I put it there within reason. Like, I mean, I, I, I purposefully sought out that figure. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing if it's... Some of them are supposed to be absolutely absurdist. I'm, I'm allowed to be just as perplexed by the work as somebody who didn't make it, which is, you know, which is kind of fun. Like, I put a figure on a piece and I'm like, this works for me, but I can't really think of why. My mind is demanding it means something. That's a whole thing. Stop it! I mean, it just, it's, you know, it's like that sharp pain. I don't like you either. You don't even know me. You know what? That's fair. I'm Pig Nose, and this is my brother in law, Scott. Yeah, for example, the Walrus Man figure. The prison punk piece, because. That's I mean, aside, aside for the fact that the oranges were. It just was like, that's the main reason I put it there, but then I just thought, he seems like the type of guy that might get punk in prison, for all we know. Or at least the way he, the way it worked out for him in, in the cantina, so I just thought, you know, he's a good, like, victim figure. He doesn't like you. I'm sorry. I don't like you either. I see that figure. Repeated again and again in these sort of hapless scenarios. All this S and M shit. That just should not be a figure. I mean, yeah, it's not that it shouldn't be. It's more that it wouldn't be. So somebody has to make it. So the figures reinforce the image, just visually. And the fact that there's figures there means that it must be important. You know, because they wouldn't have put figures with it if there wasn't something going on. My concept with all the work that I do is that by making anything or depicting anything, any subject, any person, any character, any idea, 
as a booster carded figure sort of elevates it or makes it into something real or just sort of like enshrines it or institutionalizes it. You know, it's like anything, if something is an action figure, then it's a real thing or it has a permanence in the culture. You got a paper? To me, even though that sounds like a whole bunch of just masturbatory, you know, overly analyzed intellectual jerk off shit. Oh, I've heard a lot That's worse. Thank you for me. Was that the one where you said you peed in a in the jar? No, yeah, that was the other one. What was that? Can't get a date. Can't get a date. I still have that jar. Wow. All the piss yeah. came right out, but now it just has this weird calcium, like, like filled. I got it inside. I got it marbling. Yeah, marbling. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, you should clear. Let me. You're good. You're good. Okay. Bye. <laughs> uh, all I heard was the guy with one leg is stomping on someone's bike, and I'm like, "Am I back in New York?" <laughs> like, holy shit, that's awesome. And then the Korean girl, you like, don't hit my car. <laughs> and you're being forced to like, you know, whack your brain trying to figure it out, and there's nothing to figure out. Andy's reaction to seeing Buzz moving around and talking. What what are you talking about? Well, you said that the toys hide the fact that they're alive when a human enters the room, but if Buzz doesn't think he's a toy, he wouldn't do that, right? Did you not realize that?